Okay, time for, for some more uh, retro tech. Um, this is a uh, Sperry Remington 661D. Um, very early calculator. Um, um, I bought this off of Mike Harrison of Mike's Electric Stuff. Um, he had a, um, I don't know if you can see that, um, it was on his website and he had a, um, he, he basically had a big clear out and um, he was selling off a lot of his uh, old stuff to pass on to other willing enthusiasts. Um, I think I paid about £3 for this off of him. Um, according to the Wikipedia Book of Lies, um, this thing is um, circa 1972 which is um, almost but not quite as old as me um, where is it, there we go um, yeah 1972 green fluorescent tubes um, the, the contacts are a bit bouncy so when you when you press any key unless you press it super light it, um, it you, you get double entries so I was trying to do 6 plus 6 so 6 so I'm getting 66 6 plus Six, so I've got triple six. You can see it's got very bouncy contacts. Um, I suppose I could take it to bits but, and see if I can clean the contacts up or whatever. But um, I only pay three pounds for this, I think. I really can't be bothered. Um, but thanks, Mike, anyway. <coughs> um, so this is 1972. Um, and my other uh, latest acquisition of uh, retro geekery is um, my Pulsar P2 watch. Um, I can't think which James Bond movie it was in, but it was in the opening scenes of a um, James Bond movie. Um, just bought this um, this week, actually. Um, I suppose what inspired me is everybody's walking around with these Apple iWatches, um, where you have to press uh, touch the screen for the display to come on. And uh, it reminded me of these old LED watches. So this is um, a Pulsar P2, um, which again is 1972-1973 sort of era, again almost as uh, old as me, and um, yeah, I thought it would just make a bit more of an interesting gadget rather than uh, having multiple thousand watches on your wrists, I thought that was something a bit old and uh, more interesting. So yeah, various retro junk.